So it's Halloween time, right? Fun times, partying, costume partying, drinking, smoking. Protect yourself, okay? We're gonna get right into this video. Protect yourself, let's talk. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole, thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all of your love, support, likes, subscribing, commenting. It supports the channel. I'm so grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for this tribe. I love you all. It's really growing. The numbers are growing every single day. I'm grateful to be here to be of service, to help you all on your journey. This is healing for you. It's healing for me. So thank you all so much for this opportunity. Let's get right into it. It's Halloween, okay? Halloween is on when I'm uploading this on Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday. It's a fun time, fun time for children, trick-or-treating and all of that, parties. A lot of adults love Halloween as well. You know, party time, smoking, drinking, having a good time, right? Let's just get right into this, okay? Protect yourself. Halloween, yes. It's fun, all of that on the earth side, great. Halloween is also this week. I'm uploading this, the week of Halloween, this week, next week as well. The veil is very thin. Now when I say that, when I say the veil is very thin, that means the veil of the spiritual realm. What I was told, okay, I'm gonna start with this story. I'm a psychic medium, okay? Shout out to the people, the mediums out there, okay? Um, I don't typically go out for Halloween or I'm just not a partier. Like I'll go out and have a good time and I'll go to a party, but that's just typically not my scene. I'm more of like a homebody, you know? So anyway, so I went out. I wasn't out like with friends. I was out like with my kids and stuff. And I mean, I'm literally, I'm looking outside at the street, like driving, and I'm just like, am I seeing things? <laughs> like, because I'm a psychic medium, so I'm already very, like I already see spirits, but I'm looking out and I'm seeing tons. And I'm not even trying to freak you out. It's not a scary situation. Not all scary. Okay, I'm gonna just be, I keep it real on this channel. Not all scary, some are but a lot are not, okay? But I was just like, oh my God. Like it was like my mouth, my, my jaw dropped. My jaw dropped and I immediately, you know, I got people on the spiritual realm on the line. I'm, I'm quick with it. I'm like, is this what I'm seeing? Like, what's up? What's up? Like, spirit guys, is this for real? Ancestors, is this, is this what's up? So they were like, yeah. And a couple of friends that passed away that I, you know, was good friends with, they immediately came in and was like, this is our time. This is our time to have fun. Like, we get earth passes. We get to come back. We get to come back and party. We get to come back and drink. We get to come back and have a good time. Because I don't know, I don't know if I've said this in another video, but earth is like the, and I even heard, Someone else saying in the video, and it's so true because I talked to my team about it too. Earth is like the Las Vegas of the universe. Like, people talk about Earth, and we're gonna talk about that in another video, but people talk about Earth all the time. Earth is like the fun planet, even though I know, I know some of you like, how? No, Earth is really like the fun, like, we could do whatever we want here. We could eat whatever we want, we could drink, we can indulge that's why they talk about like the seven deadly sins and all of that like these other planets and star systems you can't do all of this it's, you don't have these things available like you don't just have tacos and burgers and you know what I mean like you're eating like love and air you know like you're not even eating you know you're not 
it's so many things we get to do here on Earth. Like, we're not having physical sex in these other star systems. Like, we don't, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. But that's another video for another day. I don't want to get too off. So, I'm just, like, driving and I'm like, what the, I'm like, I can't be seeing all, like, this is wild. When I tell you the spirits roam, they are out here roaming like crazy. You may meet someone and you may never talk to them again. Like during these like two weeks, because it's like two weeks that they get to come and have a good time. And around Halloween is when they really come out. And because I don't know. That's what they told me. They just get their moment to come back to Earth, to live it up. You know, they get their past to come down and to have a great time. But I'm saying protect yourself because some of these energies are not of the light. You know, you have some that are of the light, but you have some that are of the dark, of darkness. And so I'm saying be careful because... And you will see these dark entities latching on to souls that are alive, like you and I. You will see these dark entities latching on. And so when you are drinking, you are susceptible. When you are smoking, you are susceptible. When you are in a depressive state or your vibration is really not where like at a high place, you may be grieving or you may be sad or depressed, these entities latch on. Of course, these entities can latch on at any time, okay? But during, like I said, Halloween and, you know, during this time where the veil is thin, it's very easy for these things to happen. So you really need to protect yourself and be careful. I'm not saying don't go out. I'm not saying, you know, don't party. If you cannot drink, I would say that would be for the best. If you have the opportunity to stay home, you may want to do that too. And again, I'm not saying don't go out. You can still go out, but protect yourself. How can you protect yourself? Let's talk about it. Having crystals on you or having some type of stones. You know, obsidian, clear quartz. What is it? Um, tourmaline. Okay. You know, things like that, selenite, things like that, those protection crystals, have those on you or wear them. Take a spiritual bath. If you go out partying, you get home, first of all, when you get home, sage yourself. Smudge or sage yourself, your whole body, you know, completely, your face, your arms, completely clear, your legs, your feet. Hold on to something when you do your feet. Hold on and just, you know... Clear it out, take those clothes off, wash them or put them somewhere else, you know, that put them somewhere else in a bag or something. Take a spiritual bath, okay? Do that before you do anything. Don't lay down, don't sit down, get right in that bath. Have some bath salts in that bath. If you have Florida water, put the Florida water. If you don't typically use Florida water, put that Florida water in there, okay? You can get Florida water. I mean, I got some at Walmart not that long ago. I was like, why do they sell this on Walmart now? Okay. But you can get it off Amazon. Have the Epsom salt or some type of bath salts in your bath. You can use essential oil. You know, and when you run your bath, pray or set your intention. Please cleanse me. Um, please cleanse me, ground me, and protect me. If I were you, I would take a bath before I go out. But if you don't have time for that, definitely take a bath when you get back. If you're out, out and about partying or hanging out, watch who you drink with, watch who you smoke with, watch who you indulge with, who you eat with. This is not the time. If you already have people around you and their energy is already shaky and you're already like, I don't know about you. This is not the time to be hanging out with those people. Okay, this is not the time to your energy is shifty. I don't even know where that cool your energy is up and down. Mm -mm. This is not the time to be hanging out with those kind of people. Don't, not this week, not this weekend. Skip that. Watch it. Watch who you're out with. Like I said, if you do go out, 
try not to drink. And if you do drink, keep it cool, keep it chill. Do not, you know, have one drink, maybe two. You're not always able to see things clearly or really be aware of everything that's happening. And you want to be very aware of what's going on. You can also do things like put herbs in your bath as well, certain herbs for protection and for clearing and for grounding. If you do plan to go out for Halloween as well, if I were you, I would definitely take some time during the day to ground and protect my energy, go outside. If you can, let the sun hit your body, you know, sit in the grass, hug a tree, do something to ground and protect yourself, okay? I don't want to scare you. This is not meant to scare you. I'm trying to make you aware, aware of the things that are out there so you can understand what's happening and so you can be aware and you can be intentional because Halloween can be a time where you, you know, throw things out the window and say, hey, I just want to party and have a good time. And there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, have a great time. You deserve it. Have fun. Be aware. Be intentional. Okay. Because again, you have a lot of dark energies. And I saw that firsthand. Honestly, I didn't even want to be out on Halloween because I did some meditation around it. And it was basically like, yes, yeah, stay home. Okay. But my kids were invited to this party. And I was very like on edge about it. I was, in fact, I was on edge the whole night. I'm not going to be honest. I was very on edge about it. I wanted to go with them to just make sure that their energy was protected. Now, this is, I'm not saying like the people we were with were great people. It, and in fact, there was nothing, there were no type of entities around. It was actually cool, but great party. But I wanted to be there to make sure I didn't want them to just like, you know, be because they're children. And again, those spirits were latched on. If you take your children trick or treating, because I plan to take my children trick or treating, and we're going to be doing give them a spiritual bath. I'm giving my kids a spiritual bath. You know, if you don't give your kids a spiritual bath, start doing it because they need it too. They need that protection as well. I'm going to sage them and do the same thing. We do that all the time anyway, so they're used to it. But do that as well. And if you are not able to be with your children, tell them, hey, put those crystals in your pocket. Clear those crystals. You know, clear them with some sage or, you know, put them in the sun so they can get charged up or in the moonlight, charge those crystals up, put them in their pockets or make sure it's attached to them, bracelets, something so they can be protected. Because if they're protected, those entities, they won't even try it. Okay. And don't worry about it. Let go. Just be intentional. But don't, I don't want you like, because the more you think about it, the more it can manifest. So just like, again, just be aware, just be intentional. You know, when you've had one drink, maybe like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm good, I'm done. And if you drink at home, you don't really have that, you know, problem because you're at home and you have your home protected, okay? So you really won't have that issue. If you watch other videos about this, you'll see other people talking about it. People who know what they're talking about, be discerning about that, okay? Just FYI. But you'll see other people talking about it too, like, hey, if you go out, be careful, okay? It's no joke out there. You have people masquerading, you have dark entities ready to latch on because they don't want to go back, okay? They, they don't want to go back to that side. They want to latch on so they can continue to be here on earth causing wreak and havoc wreaking havoc, right? They want to cause issues. That's their whole motive. The dark. They want to cause problems. So be careful. Be intentional. Be careful. Have a good time, whatever you do. But just be aware of what's happening out there. And if you are a medium, psychic medium, where you do have mediumship abilities, protect yourself. Protect yourself every single day. If a spirit tries to come to you, you don't even need to talk. You don't need to do anything unless it's like a pass on loved one that, you know, you trust and you feel. Be discerning with that because if you are a medium, they will come to you, okay? They will come to you and talk and, you know, you'll start getting a lot of that, okay, during this time. I know I did 
like I said, the last couple of years were really intense with that, okay? So the shift in the planet is pulling more of this up. So if you are a medium, just be careful and just, you know, don't be afraid because, again, you do have, you know, spirits that are of the light, good spirits, but you have the dark ones too. So just be intentional, just be aware. So let's talk about it in the comments. Are you going out for Halloween? If you are, what is going to be your way of protecting yourself, clearing yourself, keeping yourself safe during this time? If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so grateful for you. Please like the video. Please comment below. Subscribe. Join the Capital Love Tribe. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next video.